The Brook Polder is an approximately 400 hectare, about 1,000 acres, polder to the west of the Villardingervaart in the municipalities of Villardingen and Mittendelfland in the Dutch province of South Holland. The word brook in the name Broek Polder refers to the original peat bog. The Broek Polder Water Board, under Villardingen and Mossland, was responsible from 1595 to 1963 for the dyeing, draining and then water management of the polder. The water board was first added to the municipality of Villardingen, but later joined the Delfland Water Board. After the reclamation, the polder was mainly used for dairy farming. From 1958 to 1975, part of the area was sprayed with sludge from the port of Rotterdam. The thickness of this layer of silt is approximately 6 meters, so that part of the polder stands out prominently above the surroundings.
In the past, there were plans to build houses in the polder, but this was cancelled due to the soil pollution from toxic Rotterdam Harbour sludge. The municipality of Vlardingen manages approximately two-thirds of the Broke polder, the rest, the northwestern part, manages the recreation board of Mittendelfland. The area has been set up as a recreation area with a golf course, a riding school, sports clubs, scouting and sports centre de Polder Port. The Broke Polder Friends Foundation, the Broke Polder Cooperative Association and the Broke Polder Federation are working with the municipality of Vlardingen for the survival and development of the Broke Polder as a nature and recreation area. To this end, a landscaping plan was drawn up in 2009 by a landscape development agency.
Welcome to the Brook Polder. The Brook Polder is a large green nature and recreation area in Villardengen. It is more than 400 hectares in size, covers a quarter of the Villardengen territory and borders the Middendelfland. It is a great area for walking, with or without a dog, cycling, mountain biking, skating and ice skating in winter. The Brook Polder has a varied landscape of polder, young forest, and large ponds where many water birds forage and hibernate. In addition, Scottish Highlanders walk in the polder and a herd of sheep is regularly used for grazing. It is a fantastic recreation area for all Vlardingers and their neighbors.
The Broke Polder Federation Foundation is a citizens' initiative, created in 2006 by the citizens of Villardingers involved. They recognized the importance of the Broke Polder as a nature and cultural area and wanted to prevent the area from becoming a new residential area of the municipality of Vlardingen. Since that time, citizens and the municipality of Vlardingen have been working together and ensuring the development of this area. Every month, the Broke Polder guides organize a walk through the Klotterwoud and Ruigd. In addition, they organize a number of themed walks, such as a bird walk, autumn walk or a cattle walk check the agenda for all dates. For the public walks you can register via Broke Polder Gidsen at federatibrokepolder.nl Participation costs 4 euros per person. Holders of a volunteer pass pay 2 euros.
In the past 10 years, three projects for specific target groups have been developed, Masamuda, past comes alive. The age-old Vilard and Gen culture, circa 3000 BC, revives on Masamuda. The Vilard and Gen culture house is ready and the Ratahuis and the Spikeness farm are under construction. In the coming years, buildings from different periods will be reconstructed in the yard. Daruig, space, and tranquility. A varied wet and dry area where nature is left as much as possible, where Scottish Highlanders live and where hikers, cyclists, and riders are welcome. The Clotterwoud, playing in nature. The Clotterwoud is a scrambling, strolling, and playing area for adventurous children. There are mainly adventurous paths, ditches with stepping stones and a ferry that children can operate themselves. Hello, bedankt voor het kijken naar deze productie van JN Productions. Ik hoop dat u ervan heeft genoten. U kunt abonneren door op de logo in de rechter benedenhoek te klikken. Alvast van harte bedankt en tot ziens.